It's time for Six Figure Trucking, period number 14. Let's look at my compensation as a W-2 company driver. First, we're going to talk about the logs for the week. I was paid for 2,706 dispatch miles. I had 2,777 log miles. My utilization this week was 94%. The day in orange was a day that I was on a paid 34-hour reset. My unedited pay statement for period 14 of 2024. This includes all trips from March 24th to March 30th. The only trip this week started in Kinston, North Carolina and ended at the Fort Recovery, Ohio Terminal. It had stops in Arlington, Texas, Carrollton, Texas, Duluth, Georgia, Lexington, Kentucky. It paid $1,959 for 2,706 miles. This week I was paid for the $300 insurance cash out. This is paid monthly to drivers who do not use the company health care insurance. Empty miles paid $18. Securement paid $88. Hazmat miles paid $56. The insurance cash out paid $300. Loaded miles paid $1,703. And stops paid $94. Total earnings this week was $2,259. We keep hearing across the industry that drivers are getting less miles and making less money. I'm one that believes in hard numbers rather than anecdotal information. Here's the comparison of my miles and compensation for the last four years, looking at the compensation through week number 14 of each year. This year is the highest of the four. 14 weeks into the year, my gross income is $30,636, and I've driven 39,936 miles. This averages out to $2,188 per week, and 2,853 miles per week. Estimating that over a year, I'm on track to earn $113,791 for 148,332 miles. Through week number 14 of 2024, I've been loaded 94% of the miles and 13% have been hazmat placarded miles. This is a map of the miles per state year to date in which I've driven. Texas remains well in first position. This week, I did not add any states to the map. Here's the home time that I've taken this payroll year. No additional time was taken this week. I've been on home time five times so far this year, totaling 17.5 days. I've also had eight paid 34-hour resets on the road. My driver settlement shows 10, but two are actual layovers. I'm not paid hourly, but let's calculate this like an hourly job. For the week, my gross pay was $2,259 for 57 hours of work. If we break that down to the typical hourly job, it could be 40 regular hours and 17 hours of overtime, resulting in an effective pay rate of $34.13 per hour. Straight hourly pay would be $39.32 per hour. Year to date, I've earned $30,636 for 764 hours worked. Out of those hours, 560 would be regular time, 204 would be overtime. If we calculate it weekly with overtime, the effective pay rate is about $35.40 per hour. However, as straight time, it's approximately $40.12 per hour. As always, make sure you're enjoying every day at work.